Good morning, Beehive family. I just got home from the gym, and now I am going to get a little something to eat. I made me some overnight oats, cinnamon and raisin, and apple. Apple, cinnamon, and raisin. So I'm gonna heat that up. I'm gonna make me a cup of coffee. And today actually is going to be a little bit of testing for Blake. I like to do a beginning of the year test just to make sure that we are on track with everything. Um, so what I give him is I give him like a Terra Nova test. And I'll also give it to him at the end of the year and just see that he had, you know, some sort of growth and improvement of some sort. So we're going to be starting that today. If you guys don't know, Blake is homeschooled by choice. He wants to be. All my kids have the option to be homeschooled. Brooke tried it. She hated it. They don't have the option until sixth grade. So Ben is still in school. But anyways, here is the test he takes. He takes the Terra Nova test. It is a state regulated test. Um, they come to you in a package. Like you tell them what day you're going to test. And then it comes to you in a package. And um, because I have the certain credentials uh, when I enrolled him in homeschool, I can actually administer the test myself. Um, it, the requirement is only that the parents both have to have high school diplomas. And so we have that. We actually have a little bit of college experience as well, but I never finished. Um, so I can actually administer the test for him and they give me like a sheet and there are certain guidelines that I do have to follow. Um, he has to uh, be timed on them. So like it'll tell me when I do a certain section in the book, it'll say, you know, to allow X amount of time. And so I will set a timer and he'll sit down here be able to watch them now we won't do that whole entire book today we'll probably break it down into um three days just like the school does you know um because it is a lot of work and and such and you don't want to burn somebody out and you know hope hopefully they'll do what better by doing that you know so i'm getting ready to do that he's gonna get up and get him something nice to eat and uh and then he'll get started on his test. I'm getting ready to edit a video for today. And so, yeah, I got a little bit going on. Um, ben is at school, obviously. Brett's at school. And it was tough getting up this morning after having a nice, long holiday weekend. Did you guys enjoy your holiday weekend? I know we sure did. And I'm holding this camera up. And today, I worked arms. So my arms feel kind of like spaghetti noodles. <laughs> I am having an issue with fruit flies. It's just that time of year. And so, I mean, I got fruit and vegetables and stuff here. But I put out a thing of apple cider vinegar and then you put like uh, dish soap in it. And it works, but for whatever reason, they're not going to the thing. So, anyways. Alright, I'm going to get this heated up. Get me something to eat and drink, and then we're gonna get started on Blake's test. Oh my gosh, I have to film this. This is hilarious. Brett doesn't even know I'm filming him. You guys, that's Brett. You remember this weekend? His truck broke down. That's his new ride. Brett's new ride. <laughs> Sorry, Brett. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Can I just say what a hard working kid that is? That kid is 19 years old and he does nothing but work. He has a regular job, which he couldn't make it to today, but he does a lot of side work and we've actually hired him to take care of some things in our yard and such, but oh my gosh. That boy will find a way to get it done. That is one hard working little fool, I tell you what. Well guys, breakfast is complete. It was absolutely delicious. And Blake is awake. Today's the day, Blake. Oh, the day. Today the is testing day. Yay! I thought it was the day I ate a Pop Tart. It's not Pop Tart day, Blake. Good try though. But you can eat the Pop Tart. I got you the right ones, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, you like the chocolate ones. So, 
Blake is getting a little bite to eat and then a little drinky drink. Whoa, that's a big drink. Right yeah, there. that is a big drink. Um, Patches was already in Ben's bed, wasn't he? Yes, he was. You know what I was thinking? What if we put your room in Ben's room? What if he would go to the other room just because? Because he's always like that room, Ben's room. But we try to keep the door closed because that's where Grandma and John sleep and John's allergic to cats. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep the hair down in there. But wouldn't it be interesting to see if we... I mean, we're not going to do it because you like where you're at. But if your room was over there, imagine that. Do you think he would go to the other room just because? Most likely because they'll want to sleep with me first off. <laughs> that cat is goofy though, I'll tell you what. I got a photo of him in it. What? So Ben had like the covers laid out so it was like a perfect little nest. That, uh -huh. You know, sit in it and then lay his head on the covers like this. Oh and my gosh. Sleep like that. Of course the cat uh, will sleep in the bed more than Ben probably. <laughs> right? Anyway, he's already got more bedtime in it though already. Yeah, he's done well. He's, he likes, I mean, that was a, a good change for him to get him a new mattress and stuff. So. Yeah, we just need to sleep in there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm going to clean up breakfast from this morning. Ben had a toaster strudel. Didn't finish. So anyways, I guess we're going to get ready to get started with Blake's test. Joy. All right, you ready? Give You're gonna have an hour to get your test out. Yeah, turn it around, actually. It's supposed to be turned around. <laughs> He's gonna use a little table here because when you circle in these bubbles and see the lines on the table, no if you, yeah, if you puncture the paper, it'll be ruined. You're not gonna be timed until after you take your first practice questions. This test actually in each category has like sample passages for him to do. And then, of course, then the test will start here. And then I'll have 50 minutes, actually, to get it done. Be real careful with the test. Don't spill any drinks on it because we don't actually own the test book. We actually have to return it when you're done. Don't worry about anything at the top here. I have to fill in all that information. You're going to start down here. Got it? Okay. Simple enough? Yep. Let me know when you're done your sample questions, and then um, I will start the timer for the next. Any questions? Do you need to use the restroom? <laughs> Isn't that what the what did the teachers used to do when y'all would take testing? I don't know. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? Raise I've, your hand I've if you been, do. <laughs> I've been homeschooling for like two years. I so know. I already forgot. That's all right. All right. Well, good luck, Billy. A good night. A <laughs> good night. Are you going to bed? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blake has finished the uh, sample questions. What did you get for A? I got. C. That's correct. <laughs> what did you get for B? I got, what one is it again? G. Correct. And what did you get for C? Oh, wait. A. Yeah, I know. And then that messed you up, like A, B, C, and then you want to go in order. All right, very good. Um, we're going to go ahead and set a timer now for 50 minutes. Let me grab my phone. Siri, please set a timer for 50 minutes. Okay, 50 minutes and counting. Ready, set, go. All right, so Blake finished his first part of testing, and, and now he's in home ec class, and he's cooking. <laughs> this isn't class, this is real business. Yeah, well, when you're homeschooled, you do for yourself. He's a big boy. He cooks and his own home food. And cooking the hand food. I gotta be careful not to burn myself. But yes, he is cooking up his breakfast for this morning. Could you it. put your um, salt in it? Yeah, I already did. Eggs like your mama used to make, you know? That's right. Well, mine are better, so I don't care what you say. No, mine kidding. are better. <laughs> I cook the better eggs. If you haven't cooked them, just go along. Guys, you can hire him for cooking your breakfast. Look at this. Eggs like your mama used to make. They are beautiful. All right, guys. I just got finished testing, and I feel really confident with what I did. But I am so confident that I feel like... I'm PewDiePie, or I can just out nowhere just do the PewDiePie daily. Ah. Oh. The confidence is real. You guys are gonna be cheering me on for this. I swear I do not have enough time in the day. Now I gotta go fold some laundry, which laundry kind of took over this weekend because it was a longer weekend. But I've been working on a video for a brand um, called Comfort and Relax, is who we worked with, Mattress, and we made over Benjamin's room but 
look at, oh my gosh, I got so much laundry to put away. And I'm gonna get ready to do that. But I uploaded the video and I missed a few things in the video. I had to go back, re-edit those back in. And what would have already been live and done is still uploading. Well, I'm waiting for it to go uh, high quality HD. So anyways, I am gonna get these uh, laundry uh, folded and stuff. And then I gotta go straight and pick up Ben. I'm not even gonna get a shower till later. So, anyways, oh, you guys, YouTube is a lot more involved than just filming, editing, and uploading, especially when you're working with brands and things like that. But I'm sure you guys, a lot of you already are aware of that. Certain things you have to say, like they want you to say certain things. Certain things have to be in the description. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a job. It is a job. I mean, I love it, but man, sometimes it can be time consuming. It takes your whole day, whole day. All right, I'm gonna get some of this laundry folded, you guys. Well, dinner has been served and everybody has eaten. And now Charlie and I are actually gonna go catch some daylight because it's 6.30 and it looks like the sun is almost down. Hate winter, hate fall. Bring back spring and summer and see what we can catch. So I'll take you guys along. If I catch anything of decent size, I'll be sure to show you. It's gonna be a great day fishing. <laughs> Because the gates are closed, that means we're the only ones here. Yay! We don't have to worry about anybody messing with us. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We still have the boats on the water, but anyways, the gates are open, and so we're going in. He's giving me the okay. He's giving me the okay to go. You giving me the okay? <laughs> It's all clear. It's all clear. Just flat today, too. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit of action on the water, though. Something swimming in it. Is that beaver? Is that? Oh, yeah. It's probably the beaver, for sure. Yeah, it's disappeared. He's probably gone under. More than likely. Or it's a snake. Well, the sun's going down, and I finally got one. <laughs> a big one. Charlie and I have been catching little ones, but finally got a good size one. I guess the little fish are finally moving out, so not a bad catch. It's a pretty fish. 